Hey guys, I hope you are having a super awesome, ridiculously successful Monday. It is actually ridiculously late for me to be recording a video, but I thought, what the hell, I'm just gonna do it anyway. It's 7.30 on Monday night, and I made the commitment today that I'm gonna put up a blog post on my blog, because I've always been saying since like January of this year, I think, that I would start um, getting back to my regular blogging on kellyalexa.com. Um, but we're finally making it happen, so that's really all that matters. Um, but I just thought I would come in here and, and say hello to you guys because there's a lesson that was driven home. I drove home a lesson to myself today, and I had to share it with you because I'm like, this is a great blog post, this is a great lesson, and it's really in the simple premise of this. For me, and I believe for a lot of you, what gets tracked is what comes to fruition. Now, that's a bumper sticker. Feel free to make one, make a coffee mug out of it. But I just realized with utter clarity today that the areas of my life that have seen the most growth and the most success are the areas where I've not only put a lot of focus and energy and, and organization to, but that I've been very deliberate with uh, as far as activity and action, and, and I've tracked it. And, and I'll give you the example in regards to fitness. If you've been following me on my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I have always, after a workout, recorded my workouts in a calendar, and of course, now that I'm shooting this video, I'm realizing I should have had the calendar with me so I could actually show it to you. But I always have like a Kathy Friedrich calendar inside my, um, typically my bedroom closet. And after my workout, I go and I record what I did and then I, I rate it. So I rate it one to five stars. Five stars means I did the best workout. It was the most intense workout. It was killer. It was just as awesome as it could be. Four stars means it was pretty awesome, but it wasn't like I was dying and, you know, it just wasn't, it was like one step down, right? Three would be maybe I only did half an hour instead of an hour, whatever. And then one or two, I probably shouldn't even record that. If I unintentionally miss a workout because I'm sick, because I've had a migraine, because whatever, I write that down too. If I take a day off, I write off. Um, and then I record with a big Sharpie whenever I do a weight workout because weights are priority for me. Cardio is second. It used to be the other way around. But I now know that weights are the most important thing. Cardio is second. Certainly not a lot of cardio, but very precise, deliberate cardio. So I record that. And, and it does two things. It's an accountability um, measure for me, but it also allows me to constantly see a month at a time how much progress I'm making. So it's an accountability thing, it's a, it's a motivation thing, because if I have, when I'm looking at my week and I see that it's Wednesday and I only have one workout in, and my goal is to have five or six workouts a week, that's a problem. So it really, really keeps me on course and it keeps me just really accountable to myself for what I, what I wanna do. Um, but the other thing about recording things like this. It will absolutely be helpful to you when you go through a period where you've fallen off the wagon for, for whatever reason, or maybe you've had bad results, you've been sick, you have hormonal issues like I have, and things weren't working for a while. And then you're starting back. Trust me when I tell you this, you will have times in your life where you've had really, really good success. You will want to go back and and because you'll find yourself going, wow, I was really, really, you know, crushing it. I was really seeing good results like the first half of last year. And then the second half of last year, that's when my pants got tight, blah, blah, blah. Like, what was I doing? Sometimes you might think that you're very consistent in what you're doing in your training or your eating, but you might not be. And I can tell you that I have been very good about recording my workouts, but not my food. And what I can tell you is, what struck me today is that both from a current perspective, not being very precise and recording exactly what I'm eating means that presently, 
and even recently in the past six months or whatever, um, when I'm winging it, I'm not doing, I'm not hitting my macros nearly as, as effectively as I think I am. And then number two, because I haven't been recording my food the way I've always recorded my workouts, I don't have that thing to go look back on. Um, I'm actually doing this right now. I was, I was thinking like, okay, I know that there was this time period before I had a rough, uh, a, a, certainly a rough period last year. And I wanted to look back and see what my workouts were. So I was looking over and I was like, okay, cool. You know, I see what I was doing. I see where I got, you know, into a bit of overtraining. It was a really good reference point. And so I really want to encourage you both for a historical, from a historical perspective, but also for, for your right now situation, what you track, I firmly believe. And yeah, it's extra manual work to, for example, one of the other things that I'm doing every morning is I'm, I'm journaling, which I've never done before, but I take the time to sit down and write two pages in my journal every morning. And it is helping me from a business perspective more than you know, possibly imagine, more aha moments and helping me find focus on, on or determine what I need to focus on and what I need to focus on less. And it was, it was because I've had such, such success with that journaling that I started to think, you know, maybe I need to, to apply that towards my fitness goals and my fitness journey because I find myself just kind of hovering in the same spot where I'm like, I've made good progress, but I'm not where I want to be. And I kind of feel like I've been saying that for a long time. And most of us are our own worst enemies and the devil is in the details. So for me, if I know that the devil is in the details and that means that I need to get on my macros and know, just like I know, what my workouts were last week and the week before and January and February, I wanna know what I'm eating, not go, well, I think I've been on track. So that's why I decided to like come here and shoot this video when I'm still in my workout clothes, haven't done my workout for today. I did work out yesterday. I had a great week last week. Today's gonna to be my day off. Incidentally, Mondays typically do tend to be my days of not working out, but either way, I always get dressed in my workout clothes. It's just a best practice. Um, but truthfully, I do highly recommend all of you track everything that is important to you. If it means it's in a notebook, if it's in a spreadsheet, if it's in a PowerPoint presentation, whatever works for you, if it's on your phone, do that. I personally like to handwrite things out, things like this that I can look back on. Um, it just works for me, but find out what works for you. I'd love to hear what works for you in the comments below. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, um, it's good to be back and I promise you're gonna be surprised at me actually being back and I can explain um, why in my next videos, you'll understand like when, I'm, when I say, yeah, I'm back now, you're not gonna go, right, Kelly, you've said that before. There's a lot of big projects that I had to do this year to get out of the way. And I had to give them my full focus. So um, for those of you that have been subscribed for a while, hello, it's good to be back. I do urge you to head on over to kellyalexa.com. Make sure you are subscribed there to my newsletter. Lots of great stuff coming up. If you're watching this on my blog, make sure you head over onto my YouTube channel as well. We'll have stuff in both of these areas, both on my blog and on my YouTube channel that are not necessarily um, going to be featured on the other. In other words, there's going to be stuff on my blog. You're not going to see me on my YouTube channel and vice versa. So make sure you're subscribed in both places. Um, of course, down below, I have links to all of my social profiles so you can follow me everywhere and stalk me everywhere. It's really good to be back. I would love to see. Let me know in the comments too, if you are tracking what works for you. If you've got a killer planner um, that you use or an online, you know, if you've got software that you use or an app that's awesome, Share in the comments below so we can spread the love. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.